We are nearly a month out from the solar eclipse taking over the state of Indiana and hundreds of thousands of visitors are planning to come to Indiana to witness the once in a lifetime event. WRTV's Griffin Gonzalez found out the steps one community is taking to make sure the event goes off smoothly and everyone stays safe. There's no better place to witness the eclipse than right here in Bloomington. Next month, the solar eclipse's path of totality runs right through Indy, but its best views might be right here in Bloomington. And every one of the expected 300,000 visitors can enjoy the eclipse safely here in Bloomington. Uh, we have a lot of great outdoor natural spaces here in Bloomington and one of the best places to experience uh, the natural wonder of what's going to be going on. Hundreds of thousands are planning on visiting the city 50 miles south of Indianapolis and emergency services are preparing. The Bloomington District, as well as the Indiana State Police as a whole, uh, has been preparing uh, for the total solar eclipse for some time. In an effort to make sure everyone has a safe and successful trip, Bloomington wants everyone to come prepared. If you're coming in from out of town, you're going to Google, you know, what's going on in Bloomington, what parks there are, look for natural spaces where you have a great view of the sky. Plan to arrive early, stay where you are, and get home late. Gas up and charge up your vehicle in advance. Pack water, snacks, and an emergency kit to be ready. Come with a plan and be patient. Travel times are going to be extended. It'll be hard to get into your favorite restaurants and it will be hard to get to the gas stations and gas up. Just make sure that you have all of the things that you need that you can't wait for. In Bloomington, Griffin Gonzalez, WRTV. Early estimates indicate spectators in Bloomington will be in total darkness for nearly four and a half minutes. That's 45 seconds longer than the projected dark window here in Indy. Visit Bloomington wants to help you plan your trip using a special tab on their website. To learn more, you can visit WRTV.com. This once in a lifetime generation phenomenon will be amazing to watch. The problem is that a lot of people from out of state want to watch as well, which means an increase in traffic. Indon and Indiana State Police have spent months preparing for Eclipse Day because of the expected rush. ISP will have every available trooper on duty, while Indot will pause all of its construction on that day. Congestion could last for hours before and after the eclipse, so they say to take even more time than you think you need if you are driving that afternoon. I think there's an element of selfishness that people think, hey, I'm going to leave uh, when I want to leave at the point where I want to get there. And then they're going to find themselves in that traffic. They're going to be running late, which may lead to aggressive driving, uh, which could lead to a crash. And so you can see the chain of events uh, based on selfishness uh, could lead to issues for other people. If you happen to be driving right at 3.07 p.m. that day, do not pull over on the shoulder of the highway and turn your headlights on before the sky gets dark.